Holy God, grant us strength and courage to love you and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hello and welcome to a contemplative service with music in the style of today. My name is Carrie Grace Litauer and I'm pleased to hold this space for us today. I'm joined by Kester Limner and Andy Myers, two musicians and parishioners at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Seattle, Washington. It is through St. Andrew's that this service is made available virtually for all of you and a big thanks to them. Please know that wherever you are and however you are, you are welcome here. Thank you for joining us in the service today. And blessed be God, creator, redeemer, and spirit of love. And blessed be God's beloved community now and forever. Grace to you and peace from God, our creator, the love at our beginning and without end, in our midst and with us now. God is with us. Here we find new life.
Let us take a moment now to move more deeply into silence and to rest in the presence of the Holy One. living spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose voice is heard in the soft breeze. We need your strength and wisdom. Come breathe among us and within us. Gather us with your whole creation as together we embody the transforming love of Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen.
And now a reading from the Gospel of Luke. Whoever is faithful in a very little is faithful also in much. And whoever is dishonest in a very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful with the dishonest wealth, who will entrust you to you the true riches? And if you have not been faithful with what belongs to another, who will give you what is your own? No slave can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. The word of the Lord.
joy waiting for those who know their own poverty because they own the kingdom of God. those who are weeping now because they will be comforted. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. There is joy waiting for those who claim nothing because they will inherit all of God's creation. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. There is joy waiting for those who hunger and thirst for right actions because they will be fully satisfied. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. There is joy waiting for those who are kind, because they will receive kindness. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. There is joy waiting for those who have sincere hearts because they will see God. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. There is joy waiting for those who work to make peace, because they will be known as the hand of God. joy waiting for those who suffer abuse for doing what is right because the kingdom of God is theirs. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. If people hate you, if they abuse you, if they spread all kinds of evil rumors about you for following the way of love, then celebrate and be happy because this is the path of all the true saints and prophets who came before you. In this world, you are salt and light, and beyond the sorrow, there is joy waiting. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. At this time, I invite us into a time of individual and silent prayer. 
Uh, if you have any candles with you, you can light those as we pray, or you can pray with me as I light mine. Come, let us offer our hearts to the Holy One. Let us pray. And now would you pray with me the Lord's Prayer. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trial too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us, for you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And in reflection on this passage today um, about wealth and serving God and wealth, um, I have a, a brief excerpt from Caroline Lewis who shared this on workingpreacher.com. She says, the question of our dedication, our service, on the part of Jesus in this passage, is not a request to give up all that gives you life for the sake of a life dedicated to Jesus. It is rather an invitation to dedicate yourself to a God, our God, who sees our needs who sees the complex realities of our lives, who sees all that we are trying to do for the sake of the kingdom, and who sees that we are indeed faithful in much. And that is the God we choose to serve. May it be so. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for another week here together in this virtual service. Um, and now I will give us, send us with a blessing into the next week ahead. The peace of the living Christ be always with you. Let us go forth bearing God's peace to the world. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.
be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Your voices, the Lord is near.